Situated on the Mississippi Gulf Coast, Biloxi, Mississippi is a haven for tourists from all over. Known for its equally amazing beaches and its thriving casino scene, Biloxi is a place where you can stay for several days and easily keep busy. But the city has more than just casinos and beaches. So join us as Vucation presents the best things to do in Biloxi, Mississippi. Maritime and Seafood Industry Museum If you know anything about Biloxi, it might be that it has a history steeped in maritime activities, particularly for its food. And the Maritime and Seafood Industry Museum is a great place to learn about all that history. Founded in 1986, the museum is a look back in time at the different eras of the country as they pertain to the Biloxi maritime and seafood industry. For starters, it has two schooner replicas at the dock that you can walk around. You'll see the way these ships were constructed, and you'll be able to simply stare out into the sea, imagining you're a shrimp boat fisherman from back in the day. Inside the museum is lots of interesting info, like how blacksmithing was done, and about incidents that influenced the seafood industry in the area and all around the Gulf Coast. They have a nice collection of interesting artifacts that illustrate the metal history of the area. They also have exhibits on more modern events, like the one about Hurricane Katrina and how it affected the seafood industry in the area. And the Wayne Geis Hurricane Museum boasts an exhibit space and multimedia theater, allowing patrons to learn even more. Go on a shrimping boat tour. Once you've enjoyed the Maritime and Seafood Industry Museum, you might be inspired to actually get out on the water. Well, with the Biloxi Cruise Company, that's an immediate possibility. Their tour boat, christened the Sailfish, regularly takes tourists out on a legit shrimping run. The trip lasts just over an hour, and the boat sails around the waters just off the Biloxi shore near Deer Island. As you move around the water, you'll be able to watch as the 16-foot trawl attached to the boat runs across the bottom of the sound. And when catches are made, the captain of the ship fills passengers in about the nature of the creatures that were snagged. It's a great way to have a hands-on learning experience about shrimping, and you'll leave with a lot more knowledge of catching shrimp as well as cooking and enjoying them. Enjoy a day at the beach. If you're looking for a relaxing place to catch some rays, Biloxi Beach is an ideal candidate. It's covered in white sand that's perfect for lounging or playing beach games on. But what's also great about Biloxi Beach is the water is super hospitable for swimming. If you're looking for surfing waters, you'll have to look elsewhere because the water here is insanely calm. That's because the Gulf of Mexico's local islands keep the water from getting to be more than a gentle sway. And in warmer months, the temp of the water is delightful. It tends to sit in the 80s in the summer months, and April and October even tend to be in the 70s. If you're in from out of town, you'll want to rent classic beach necessities like umbrellas, chairs, and the like. We recommend the local shop Life's a Beach Rentals, which has shops at four different locations around town. And once you're in town, the beach is super easy to get to. If you're on Beach Boulevard, aka Highway 90, you can basically pull off anywhere along the coastline and find some beach to settle down on. Before we tell you more about the best of Biloxi, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Deer Island Coastal Preserve If you're looking for a place where you can not only do water sports like paddle boarding and canoeing, but also check out loads of great wildlife, then Deer Island Coastal Preserve is the place to be. Like Biloxi Beach, the island has gorgeous white sand beaches where you can relax, catch some sun, and even jump in the water for a variety of activities. But in the central parts of the island, you'll be able to travel around amongst marshes and pine trees that are teeming with wildlife. It hosts animals ranging from ducks and ospreys to terrapins and alligators. It's even the home of 10 protected species. And if you go to the Deer Island Coastal Preserve site, they make a point of asking visitors not to leave anything on the island because it might disrupt the preserve and the species that live there. Or as they put it, leave only your footprints. Head to the casinos. Biloxi is known around the area for being a mecca for casinos. While not quite as famous as Vegas or Atlantic City, it still boasts an impressive amount of great casinos you can enjoy for nights on end, presuming you gamble responsibly. Let's go through a couple of the ones you shouldn't miss. First, there's the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. It opened in 2007 and is a staple of the Biloxi casino world. It has a ton of both classic and modern casino games and offers a bunch of fine restaurants for when you finally get hungry after being on the tables. And it has a great luxury spa for when you want to take some of your winnings and splurge on a massage or facial treatment. Next, there's the Beau Rivage Resort and Casino. Located on Beach Boulevard, this resort and casino features fantastic hospitality and a slew of impressive features. It's a glitzy and glamorous place to stay and gamble without feeling stuffy. 
You'll have a ton of fun gambling here, but with its great pool area, excellent food options, and more, you can have a great time even if you're not looking to hit the casino tables. Another fun option is the Golden Nugget Biloxi. Like the other casinos we mentioned, the Golden Nugget is filled with a ton of classic and modern games. It also has more than 1,200 slot machines. So maybe you'll hit the jackpot on one and fund your entire trip to Biloxi. The Golden Nugget also provides great entertainment, boutique shops, and high-level restaurants. It also has some classic favorites like Bubba Gump Shrimp. Beauvoir. After you've spent a couple days at the casino tables and the hotel spas, you might be looking for a way to energize your mind. If so, why not learn a little U.S. history while you're in town? A great place to do this is at Beauvoir, which is the name of the Jefferson Davis Home and Presidential Library. During the Civil War, Davis was the president of the Confederacy, and later in life he retired to this property to live out the rest of his days. Regardless of how you feel about Davis, the Confederacy, and the goals of the South in the Civil War, you can appreciate the important historical context of this museum. While there, you can learn about Davis and his role in the Civil War, as well as about the Confederacy in the Confederate Museum. There's also a cemetery there with the remains of Confederate veterans with a lovely nature trail you can stroll around. When you buy a ticket to walk the grounds of the home, it also comes with a guided tour that takes you through the cemetery and the museum. Half Shell Oyster House As we've discussed, Biloxi and the Gulf Coast in general is a haven for seafood. So if you find yourself down there, you should definitely find some great seafood restaurants to enjoy. We recommend the Half Shell Oyster House, which brings a Cajun and New Orleans flair to their dishes. The seafood stuffed portobello mushrooms are to die for, and the seafood pot pie will fill your belly with delight. And of course, as the name suggests, they're particularly known for their great selection of oysters. Grab a bunch for an appetizer, and then continue with one of their great seafood-inspired entrees. And they have a gorgeous bar at the restaurant with some fun and out-of-the-box cocktails. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to Biloxi? If so, did we miss any of your favorite spots? And if not, do you think you'll ever go there? Let us know in the comments section below.